for you guys. Um, my name is, to those new readers out there, my name is Abhishek Narm, I'm a graduate engineer working in Leicester. And in this week's video, I'll be highlighting three key uh, tech that you guys should invest in while going to while going to university, or if you're already in university, should probably consider investing in. Um, the, the three tech are um, a DSLR, uh, noise can noise cancelling headphones, and Kindle. I'll have the timestamps available for all the three items in the show notes below. So if you guys want to skip through any of the any of the three, do so. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned to watch the whole video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The first tech is a DSLR. Now, um, originally when I went to university, which was back in 2012, um, I went with my DSLR and um, I got that as a as a gift when I was 18. 18. Um, it was it was one of the most uh, most profound investments that I made, um, because uh, not not technically made. Actually, I did because I had to chip in for my own gift. My DSLR camera, which is which is what I'm using currently to shoot this video, it's the Nikon D3100. I got this when I was 18, um, with with the help of my mom, obviously. Um, the reason this was this was a, a key investment that I partially made was because. Um, when I went to university, one of the things I liked doing was taking photography, uh, taking photographs of you know anything and anything weird, anything unusual, um, people, whatever. Um, and I think one of the things I learned about take, using a DSLR while at university, I had the experience to try different things, working with different composers, uh, understanding the whole idea about ISO sensitivity, aperture speed, shutter aperture sorry aperture shutter speed. Uh, some of the basic terms that you learn when you have a DSLR camera um, and the reason I wanted to sort of highlight that as a student taking a DSLR into university is that you sort of uh, end up making great memories you know taking pictures at different events and stuff and as you progress in your in your in experience of learning to photograph well you end up investing in multiple lenses which I eventually end up doing um, so yeah I think now DSLRs, I think, are kind of being phased out because there are a lot more, a lot more friendly cameras are being introduced, such as a mirrorless camera, and which I'll probably end up investing in in the coming future, just because they have that flip out screen, so you can watch yourself when you have what you're recording. So I think that'd be one of the investments that I'll end up making. Uh, but if you are a beginner, I, I, I mean, yeah, you could, you could invest in a mirrorless. I feel that could be an ideal. I leave, I'll leave some. Uh, options down below for both DSLR or a mirrorless camera that are reasonable price for a student to invest in. So yeah, um, DSLR is the may, is the first suggestion I'd like to make. I also wanted to add another idea uh, when it came to acquiring a camera. For, as a university student you have, um, you can sort of position yourself to try new things, you know, possibly creating a brand, starting a YouTube channel and I think by learning to video yourself or taking photographs you end up creating you you end up adding opportunities and initiative in your flywheel now the flat the concept of flywheel i originally came across i originally came across by this uh, from an author called jim collins i'll leave an article below so you guys can check it out and see what what he's all about now he sort of states a flywheel is basically a wheel that you add opportunity and initiatives and over time as the as the more you add into that wheel, that wheel will eventually gain momentum and it will run itself. Um, and one of the prime examples is Amazon, because Amazon does that quite well. And so that's one of the reasons I feel every university, not every, well, whoever can afford um, as, a, as a university student um, to invest in a, a camera, uh, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, and um, before going to university, or if they are currently in university, do invest in one. I think it will be a great, great, great line of uh, a great line of opportunity for you to sort of open up to and sort of explore different options um, while at university. So yeah, right. The second tech I probably want to get you guys to sort of possibly invest in is getting a good set of noise cancelling headphones. Now the reason for this is because. Um, often you find yourself working away from the library or possibly in busy rush cafes and um, coffee shops. So having a good set of ca headphones sort of like eliminates any of that background background noise and you can sort of just focus on your work. 
Um, I know these are all, these are the Bose 700. I know these are quite on the expensive side of things. I'll leave a link below to what I found, uh, where more reasonable options. You guys can check that out. So yeah, getting a good set of headphones, uh, noise cancelling headphones possibly, is an ideal way to go through and enjoy your university experience, I guess. The final item that I want you guys to consider would be getting a Kindle. Now, I became an avid reader as soon as I graduated because I came. I decided to invest in Kindle. And one of the things I found was it eliminated a lot of the frictions that I had. Um, one of them being carrying multiple reading books when I'm going on a long weekend or a holiday trip. Um, so carrying a lot of books was just a complete nuisance. The added benefit of switching from one book to another in a Kindle just be, like defeats that purpose, honestly. Um, I've also written an article on my process of reading a book and sort of accumulating all the highlights that I've sort of stored in my, which I've sort of just synced into an, um, a new place called Goodreads. I'll leave that link below if you guys want to check that article out. Um, I think uh, one, of the, one of the great things if you invest in a Kindle while you're going into university or you're still in university, uh, sort of build that discipline of reading uh, from the really, from the really get go of things. Um, and as you, more, as you read more and more and more, you come across new principles, new ideas, and you're able to invest and in, implement those ideas while you are at university or after graduating, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, I think this is this has been the greatest uh, investment of 2019 because um, I've read multiple literature from different authors and I've been able to implement so much in that time and it's, it's been it's been a great great outcome of that of that result of reading that book reading those books and I think that's something you if you guys wanted to start ahead instead of later it would be so much and it will then add into the whole concept of the flywheel initiative and so getting a kindle would be a great breakthrough i'll leave a couple of uh, links below from amazon and which one i've got and with what cover i'm using and stuff so yeah getting a kindle would be my third investment that you guys should consider and um, prior going to university or if you are in university Invest in this, um, it'd be a breakthrough complete edition. I also like to add that one of the critical things with uh, with Kindle, they are able to sync to a, a I think it's an app or it's a, it's a website called readwise.io. Um, I don't know if they have an app or something, uh, but what what that what that particular thing or what that particular site does is that it syncs in your highlights that you sort of made. From whatever books and it provides you a weekly uh, email of the five highlights uh, from any of the books and it sort of gives you a reminiscing outlook as to what you made why you made those highlights so again it it acts sort of it sort of brings out that active recall sort of substance memory kind of thing uh, where you're sort of trying to remind yourself right okay i made that highlight because i like that method i like that idea i want to implement that idea so yeah Kindle has a lot of more, a lot more benefits to it than a standard paperback, you would assume. Um, but yeah, getting a getting a Kindle would be an ideal, ideal uh, investment. That's a wrap to this video, guys. Thank you again for staying tuned and watching the video. Um, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel or even sharing it. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I hope you guys are staying safe in this quarantine. Uh, in this lockdown and I hope you guys have a awesome day ahead.